It's delicious and healthy, but it doesn't taste like the earth. That's important. Hey YouTube family, in today's video y'all, I have a simple, quick and easy peanut butter recipe. Now listen, this easy homemade recipe y'all, literally checks the box for basically anyone. It is low carb, keto, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, and healthy. Of course, <laughs> duh. Honestly and truly you guys, the hardest thing about these peanut butter cookies is <laughs> not eating all of them by yourself. <laughs> it's very tempting, believe me, I know. You guys, I kid you not, the crazy thing about this recipe is the fact that these peanut butter cookies are sweet. They are not one of those healthy cookies that taste like eh. No, these are good enough. <laughs> these peanut butter cookies are a great snack and they're easy to make, so yeah, y'all. Let's get into the video. So these are literally all the ingredients that you need. Keyword need in making these peanut butter cookies. So as you can see, I have Smucker's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. Then I also have almond flour. Then I have xanthan gum. And if you do not have xanthan gum, you can use baking powder instead. I also have Pure Organic Confectioner Stevia Blend. And then I have unsweet vanilla almond milk. If you want to make sure you're keeping this low calories, you get the one that has 30 calories. And we have Himalayan pink salt. Now, you guys, like I said, these peanut butter cookies are already sweet. But if you just need your peanut butter cookies to be sweeter, like you just need it, need it, need it in your life, like extra, 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 extra sweet. Wow, that was really hard to say. Oh, y'all lost my breath for a second. <laughs> you can not use pure vanilla extract in this recipe. All right, you guys. So we are going to start off by doing one cup of natural creamy peanut butter and putting it into our bowl. This could be good for me. Lately, I was feeling like I need a purpose. going to put in six tablespoons of pure organic confectioner stevia blend but when you talk to me give me the impression now you guys i'm gonna do two-thirds cup of almond flour i could walk for days searching for your this is what our mixture is looking like as right now. Um, it's gonna look a whole lot better once we put the rest of the ingredients in. So let's continue by putting in six tablespoons of unsweet vanilla almond milk. But is it even there to find? Is a chance for me? So now we're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of the Himalayan pink salt and one fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. Like I said earlier, you guys, if you do not have xanthan gum, you can use baking powder instead. Next up is to put our peanut butter cookies on a baking sheet. Whichever way is the best way for you to form your cookies, go ahead and do that. You can roll it in a ball and then just press it down with the palm of your hand. Now listen, you guys, you can add in a little some extra in your peanut butter cookies. You can add in macadamia nuts, pecans, walnut. You can use chocolate, you guys. Let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 325 and then we can pull out our parchment paper. Like I said, we already preheated the oven to 325 degrees and we will leave it in the oven for 10 minutes and then we'll take it out and let it sit for a good 25 minutes so it can harden up, okay? Yeah, that's really important. Make sure you allow it to sit and harden up. It makes it better, okay? Just do it. <laughs> Oh, 
longer because I was editing. And plus, you guys, my instructor just graded my assignment and I was really nervous about it, but I got a 19 out of 20. So that's like what, a 90 something. I mean, he could have just gave me 20 out of 20. You know, I could have just got a 100, but no. But it's okay, y'all. So I got an A, bloop. You guys, I literally had to pull out a calculator. And so 19 out of 20, that's a 95, y'all, because he really truly could have just gave me that 20 out of 20. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is actually my last week for this semester of graduate school. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, so how did we even get on this whole topic? I don't know. Let's try the peanut butter cookies. Like I said, y'all, these are low carb, keto, gluten free, vegan, healthy, vegetarian friendly. It's literally basically for any and everyone. And, um, like I had said earlier that you can add in like macadamia nuts, pecans, walnuts, whatever. Oh, I didn't show y'all. You guys, you got. I would say you can have this with some coffee. You can have it with some almond milk or regular milk if that's your jam. Y'all know I really cannot have dairy. So almond milk is my milk of choice. It's so soft. It's chewy at the same time. It's delicious and healthy. But it doesn't taste like the earth. That's important. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that if by any chance you are new here, hi, welcome to the family. We would love, love, love to have you to officially, officially join the YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button. Plus, the notification bell as well so you won't miss out on any future uploads here you can always 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 expect a new video from me on mondays wednesdays and fridays and guess what your girl has not missed an upload yet i would like to thank you all so much for watching this video as always if you have not heard it today i love you so stay blessed and i will see you in the next video which will be friday please remember to stay blessed stay safe and of course y'all stay unique and yeah i will see y'all on friday i love you so 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 much bye Mm. Okay, bye for real.